We all want to see footage of Mike Tyson sparring. Unfortunately, the way YouTube works, people will take a five second clip and will extend it into a 22 minute long video and have that clip at the very end of the video. People faff about too much on the YouTube videos, sometimes me included. But here on this channel today, we're going to jump right into it. Mike Tyson is set to fight Jake Paul this summer and we're all hoping that Mike Tyson goes in there and knocks Jake Paul's head off. I have a funny feeling that that might not happen, although I want it to happen and I want to be wrong. But maybe I just need to refresh my memory with a little bit of Mike Tyson training and sparring footage to remind myself how great the legend is. All right, no faffing about. Let's jump straight into it. We're not going to pause it much. Let's just watch Tyson do his thing. Now, I think this footage was from a few years ago, but let's take it back. When you're breaking down clips like this, there's a lot of context missing. We don't know what round it is. We don't know who this guy is here. Maybe some of you boxing experts in the comments might know. Because as I always talk about, seeing someone on the pads and then seeing them actually in a fight can be two completely different things. We see Mike Tyson look like a world beater at 57, 58 years old on the pads. But the question is, can he transfer that over into an actual fight when he's got an opponent punching back at his face? Let's watch again. Exactly. I never know it. These situations here, I'm going to favour Mike Tyson in on the inside because Mike's the shorter fighter. If he can get on the inside, he's going to be able to generate a lot more power than Jake can. But it's on the outside I'm worried about and especially when he blitzes in because Jake definitely has the potential to catch Mike on the way in. Now, that was really good head movement there. Something that I want to try and get better at. He doesn't move sporadically. He moves smoothly. Let's watch again. That was a nice little combo there. So seeing as I am a world-class boxing coach and I know better than Mike Tyson, as some of you guys in the comments seem to imply that that's what I think I am, stupid idiots. Mike Tyson's just got to be careful closing that distance. Just got to make sure he punches his way in as opposed to blitzing in. Then again, he could still blitz in as long as he's got that head movement and that's what Mike Tyson is well known for. But he did used to get clipped back in the day. He just used to have a really good chin so he could get away with getting clipped. And at the end of the day, when you're the shorter fighter and you've got to close that distance, you've got to be comfortable with getting hit. So now the question is, does Mike Tyson still have a chin? Are they actually going to go for knockouts in this glorified sparring exhibition fight? See, now when we watch Mike Tyson on the pads, he's very ferocious. Let's watch. <laughs> I'm watching these clips in such quick succession. The way it's edited like this just gets me so hype. I'm watching it going. Ah, I feel like I'm Joe Rogan when Brock Lesnar took his top off. So he's certainly looking dangerous, even though a lot of these clips are old. We can definitely expect some of the new footage to come out over the next few weeks is going to look pretty similar to this. And as I said in my last Mike Tyson video, you can't really judge too much by like one or two second clips. You can get an idea about how he's going to fight like. But the question is, can he keep that up for the full eight rounds? I honestly believe what we're going to see is Mike Tyson do well in the first few rounds, maybe the first one to three rounds. And then Jake Paul gradually start to take over just with his jab. 
jab. A lot of you guys in the comments are saying that you think it's going to be a jab fest. I kind of agree with you. We're not really going to see any power shots. They're definitely going to have some sort of anti-CTE clause in the contract where Jake Paul is not allowed to dish out any brain damage. Right, now this is a little bit more recent training footage and someone has already reacted to it. So we're going to do a reaction to his reaction <laughs> of Mike Tyson sparring because I can't find this original footage anywhere. But luckily enough, he doesn't really pause that much. So it's all good. Let's see some new Mike Tyson sparring footage. <laughs> Right now, did you see there? Mike Tyson still got hit. He's not completely invincible. And before any of you guys say, oh, don't be disrespecting Mike Tyson, I'm not disrespecting Mike Tyson, you absolute fool. I'm saying he's an absolute beast. What I am saying is that when you are the shorter fighter, you are still going to get clipped on the way in. And as you can see, Mike still gets caught here despite having really good head movements. Right there, he got caught. There he got caught with a hard left hook. See, now that was great head movements by Tyson. But then also this other lad who he's fighting, I don't know who it is, maybe let me know down in the comments, pivoted off and Mike Tyson also missed. Let's watch in slow motion because this is a thing of beauty. Mike Tyson fakes the jab, right? Then he ducks off to the left to slip the uppercut and then comes in with a body hook. But he actually got caught there by the check hook of that lads and then just about misses that shot. So they were both very evasive in that moment right there. But good head movement by Mike Mike Tyson there, slipping that jab, that cross, sorry. So what we got next is a full sparring session of Mike Tyson. Now, I'm happy that we were able to find this because this is going to give us a lot of insight into how Mike Tyson is going to come into this fight because it's quite a heavy sparring session. No punches are pulled. Let's watch this and determine whether Jake Paul is going to be able to handle this ferocity or not. You can actually tell. You can actually tell this guy who Tyson is sparring is decent. He's quite tricky. Yeah, nice shots by Tyson there. See, this lad, this white lad's got good footwork. He's never caught in the corner. He gets on the ropes and then he pivots off quite fast. This is the longest Mike's kept him on the ropes for here. I really like the long uppercuts from Mike Tyson. Hooks, uppercuts. Mike taking a big deep breath there. Especially when they land. I mean, Mike's such an explosive fighter. The question is, how long can he keep up these type of attacks for? Because we're only seeing a round here, and we've already seen Mike take a few deep breaths. Ooh, that shot was nice. So I'd say Mike's looking pretty good in these sparring sessions. Apparently, this was from 2023. So he's either going to have improved from this, or because he's a little bit older, and he's been inactive, and maybe not training as much, and he's been on the weeds and the mushrooms, he's going to be worse than this. Which is it going to be? But I definitely think Mike's going to put up a decent fight in those first few rounds. I'm kind of happy with what I'm seeing here because I hadn't seen much sparring footage from him. I'd seen his last fight against Roy Jones Jr. and then obviously his fights before then. I've seen his pad work, but I hadn't seen any sparring footage. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with what I'm seeing. Not that Mike Tyson cares about Sean Jones' opinion. Of course not, but do I think Mike has got the chance to get this done? I think so, yeah. I just don't think it's going to be by decision. If Mike wins, it's going to be by a knockout. If Jake wins, it's going to be by decision. Which outcome is most likely to happen? Happened. You guys comment down below what you think of Mike Tyson here in this footage. How do you think he looks? Has the sparring footage changed your mind at all? Do you want to change your prediction? Comment down below. Let me know. Appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for daily uploads. Catch you tomorrow.